Don't touch me! Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. Not you, the Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Yeah, but see, if I help you out, you're never gonna learn. Screw you, Michael! The lawyer's fees are coming out of your account. What the hell is this place? A garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. We're going to Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. But for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar men. Excuse me! multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail... Control the car, please! The trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Here we are. It looks like Hello? a postcard. Are you reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, on the wall by the side door. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe 10 grand. Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Okay, now that you've got that out of the way, can you take the photographs? Glasses are live, shoot away. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? Okay, that's the alarm and the vent. We still need a shot of the surveillance system. Uh, shots come through. Camera, check. Alarm, check. Vents, check. Come back to me. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Hey, you my dude, right? I'm saving up for the collector's edition. Show, man. Hey, nice to hear from you. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. Traffic was back up bad. Hola! I didn't want the part that bad. Look, there some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? Hell, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh... Know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. I'm on the roof! Alright, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. It's 
So, what did you see? Uh, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting through a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. The glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. <laughs> yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. Workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise, but making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Hacker. Back office, but... This is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Harris! <laughs> good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. If you're happy, I'll start making the arrangements. Great. I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Yes, huh? good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you.
Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. This car costs. Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? You disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... I want you to do something besides sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks, play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? No, push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnapped. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it! And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed! You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy? A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar... I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway... I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. Hey, to out, protect Carter. you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Yeah, what's up? Hey, you! Two bikes. Well, take I didn't it, take it. This one will do. I haven't been over in weeks. If I beat you to the end of the pier, up, you're remember? buying me a new TV! Oh, fuck! All right. Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being. Hey, Pop, if you're such a health nut, you should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis nonsense. If you like the beach so much, bury yourself out here. I'd never bike with the man who marked my flat screen. You'll die first, old man, right after you buy the TV! All that smack talk ain't gonna put me off my stride. Lie down, old man! If you bike a few more miles, we might be able to squeeze you into some skinny jeans. The boardwalk ain't big enough for the both of us. I mean, like, literally it isn't. We're both kind of big. Oh, I'm about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over. <sighs> I'm not gonna be able to stop this thing. You're a sore loser. This hurts so, so much, but I don't care. Hey, don't they have fitness video games you can play now? If I have a heart attack, it's your fault! Whatever. Did your parents It's not the winning, James. It's the taking part that counts. <laughs> My body isn't meant to work like this, but I'm making it to beat you! You ain't gonna slingshot me. I'm just waiting for my moment. Don't die. Don't give him the pleasure. 
I'm doing the work here, fat Bill. Oh, you've been in the ocean? Are you just dripping sweat? You do realize I'm just letting you wear yourself out, right? Shit, life is good, man. Oh my God. You shall not pass! Told me not to talk Careful, Jim! Don't give yourself a hernia! Oh my fucking god! That's just wrong! What the fuck? <clears throat> Whew! That's it. <sighs> Number one, pal. You owe me a TV. Hey, I never agreed to that. <laughs> you know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, well, I'm giving it my best shot. Hey, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat? That makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck! Ah! Dad, wait! Shit, Dad! Come on, sweetheart. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Oh, 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 man! Come. I like that! What's problem? You're such a Ask jerk! Me. Come on! Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on, now. I'm about to skin you alive. God damn it. Go. Shit, they're coming after us. Go into that outlet. All right, all right. We'll lose them if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Get away from them. You're going to hit me, you psychos. Hey, turd buckets, if you kill us, you'll be jailed and the C-Sharp will be impounded! Come 
on, let us go! Looks like this is the way out! Hello! Back off, assholes! Back up, you pricks! They're gone? Cool. See, it's okay. I'll take you back to Jim. Okay? No, it's not okay. Not at all. Hey, we're alive, aren't we? Those psychos didn't kill you. Psychos? Only you could get me chased out of a party with effing guns. Yeah, huh? Well, maybe you're in the wrong fucking party. TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you sent him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. 